This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at thermal and catalytic cracking. In a previous video, we looked at fractional distillation. In fractional distillation, crude oil is separated into its different fractions depending on their boiling points. In the table on the right, we have the fractions, the typical supply from crude oil, and the global demand. As you can see, there is greater global demand for gas, gasoline and naphtha, and diesel fuel. To make up the shortfall between the global demand and the typical supply from crude oil, a process called cracking is used in which longer chain hydrocarbons are broken up into shorter chain hydrocarbons. So as we saw in the previous slide, cracking involves longer chain hydrocarbons being broken up into shorter chain hydrocarbons. Here we have an example in which a longer chain hydrocarbon, which is C7H16, is broken up into two shorter chain hydrocarbons, C2H4, which is ethene, and C5H12, which is pentane. And here we have the equation for the reaction. As you can see, there are the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms in the reactants and the products. Let's look at another example. Here we have C16H34 being broken up into C8H18, which is octane, and C8H16, which is oct1-ene. Octane is a saturated hydrocarbon with carbon-to-carbon -carbon single bonds. Octuanine is an unsaturated hydrocarbon with a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond. Next we look at the two types of cracking, thermal and catalytic. Thermal cracking is carried out at a temperature of approximately 750 degrees C and at a pressure of 70 atmospheres. Thermal cracking gives a mixture of products with a high proportion of hydrocarbons with carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bonds. Unsaturated hydrocarbons with carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bonds can be used to make plastics. In this example, we have ethene undergoing a polymerization reaction to form polyethene. Polyethene is a plastic with a wide range of uses. Next we look at catalytic cracking. Catalytic cracking uses a zeolite catalyst that allows cracking to take place at a lower temperature and pressure. The zeolites are chosen to give high percentages of hydrocarbons with between 5 and 10 carbon atoms. Catalytic cracking also produces high proportions of branched alkanes and aromatic hydrocarbons such as benzene, which burn more evenly in car engines.